just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buckeyes right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of the game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback he's at the 30 he's taken down at the 25 what is going on with this defense i mean don't get me wrong the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field they've got to try to change things up with their scheme be more aggressive attack do some things to change it up take some risks and the defensive end comes up with a big play boy he's quick as a cat no question he got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there from the 27 yard line Second down. A little toss across the middle. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Touchdown, Ohio State! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Stop short. Now 
And they're coming after this putter. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackled after a decent pickup. Ohio State is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. And he's hit immediately. nose football right there and the defense this time wins the battle this one should be makeable Ohio State is hoping to make this a two score game kicks away and it splits the uprights the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. He's under pressure. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 28. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And down he goes at the 40. Who's receiver first down? That's good for the game of 14 yards. First down. I got it. Inside give. Tackle around the 45 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Taken down around the 32-yard line. That's a game of 13 on Monday. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 18-yard line. That makes it second and eight. We're at play number nine of this current drive. There he goes. Big 
play, and it's first and goal. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Brought down at the three. There are three quarters remaining. Ohio State's got a 10-point lead. Try the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Iowa State is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. Ohio State is up by three. He scrambled. Slides down. That brings up second and one. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. to about the 27 yard line. They'll bring him down at the 17 yard line. him hard at the 21. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. the PAT. A nine play, 79 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Nice run up the middle. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. He rifles it to the left. That close to being intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Brought down to the open field. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a Gains his way to the 29 yard line. He steps out at the 20. That's a DNA Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass. Nice play to set up first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Cyclones. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Ohio State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and five. Ball on the 31-yard line. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. Ohio State has a three-point lead. Fires to his receiver, first down. He's tackled at the 43. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 48. Side. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. The Cyclones will use their first time out of the half. He punts. No, he won't. No good on fourth down. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. 
They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. He's at the 40. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 21-yard line. They pick up some positive yards that time. Well, here you get a chance to see the ability of this quarterback, his arm strength, the middle toughness to be able to deliver the ball on time, and remember, this play was well covered by that defense. Gets it out quickly, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's good for maybe 14 yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. A five-play, 49-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. Ohio State's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. In second and ten. Ball on the 26. The Buckeyes are going to call their second timeout. That makes us early three. Dumps it out left to the running back. And down he goes. Right around the 48 yard line. and we're hoping for more of the same. 21-17, Iowa State. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel for sure. They're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. you got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. they got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll return it from the three. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Iowa State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. 
taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. Iowa State holds a four point lead. He's into the open field. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle around the 29 yard line. That makes it second and two. Gives it off. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he's level at the 48 yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for the game. Ten yards. First and five. Mike five. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. Catches it and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 38. From the 38 yard line, second down. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25 yard line. Iowa State is up four. Go back to him on a quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 10 yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Cyclones! So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. on the extra point. A nice nine play, 80 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 48. They'll go ground. There's a very impressive open field tackle.
There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Gets it away. Wait a minute. He's going to throw. Rifles it right. Incomplete. And they'll turn it over. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Here's the halfback. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 39. Throws complete and he's hit right away. And he's stopped behind the line. down now they need to get it to the 29 <laughs> tackle made around the 27 yard line Here comes the pressure, and he's sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It would be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at the eight. That's a game of six on the play. Five wide. Slings it. Touchdown, Iowa State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here we go. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled in the open field. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Caught open field. He's tackled at midfield. Scrambling. He's taken down at about the 35. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Yeah. 
Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Makes the grab past the marker. He's brought down in the open field. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 21-yard line, first down. Fourth quarter is here, and it's starting to look more and more like an upset is imminent. The Cyclones with an 18-point cushion. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Here he goes. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Field. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he could get to the sticks. And now he's got room to run. What a play, and that is first and goal. Caught for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And they're looking to get two points here. Ohio State to kick. He sends this one deep. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled at the 24. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 24. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the 30-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. And they make the stop on the 36-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that picking up the first down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Runs 
right for a nice game. Gets out to around the 48. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping to a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And down he goes at the 33. This is the ninth play of this drive. The defense puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. Nice run there. Number 26 with the tackle. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. across the middle. Tackle at the 13-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. That makes it first and 10. Under a minute left. He'll go down to one knee. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. An offensive battle to the very end. Iowa State 35, Ohio State 25. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.